Hi, I'm Glenn Orpheus and this is my review of the Cy Russia Ranger. Spoiler alert, this bike's a game changer. So, as always, let's go over the specs of the bike before we get onto my final thoughts. First of all, moving from left to right, we've got the handlebar grips, followed by the light button and the horn button. Next to this, we've got the computer controls with a plus and minus button. Please note there's also a button on the underside, just below the minus button, and also two further buttons on the right hand side of that unit. Moving to the centre, we see the large liquid crystal display smart computer. Then on the right hand side, we've got the 9 speed gear selector, the half twist throttle and right handlebar grip. Behind these, we have the Logan hydraulic disc brake levers on both right side and left side. Powering the bike, we have a rear hub 750 watt motor with a peak output of 1200 watts and also 80 newton meters of torque. As well as having these massive 26 by 4 inch fat tires, we also have the 180 millimeter brake discs on both front and rear wheel. The front suspension unit is a motorbike styled front suspension unit with preload and compression adjustment settings. The rear suspension is taken care of by use of these high compressed air shocks. The large 52 volt 20 amp hour battery can be seen hidden in the frame with the black plate, which can be locked in via a key or unlocked and removed from the bike entirely. Charging the bike couldn't be simpler, either off the bike or by using the charge socket on the bike. As with most bikes, this comes with both left and right pedals. Also hidden behind the plate is the bike's controller, which is easy accessible after removing the few bolts. On the right hand side of the rear wheel, you'll also see the nine speed gear cassette and below this, the Duralia. And lastly, the bike also comes with a 250 lumen front light, which is powered from the main battery. It also comes with a nice comfy seat that has a light on the rear of this also, but please note, this is not powered by the main battery. And also the bike comes as standard with a kickstand. So what are my thoughts on the Cyrusher Ranger? Well, as you can probably guess from my intro, this bike is definitely a game changer from Cy Russia. One of the main key features of this bike is the torque sensor, which replaces the old cadence sensors. Now, cadence sensors, they work on a series of magnets um, that go round as your pedals go round, so the magnets pass the sensor and apply power to the motor. Um, if you've used the cadence sensor before, you may have noticed that after you stop pedaling, the motor does still carry on for 
one to one and a half seconds possibly further um, and it can make riding at slower speeds a little bit more difficult but with the new torque sensor man what a game changer the power is delivered to the motor the more pressure that you apply to the pedals and also as soon as you stop pedaling so the power delivery is immediately stopped to the motor as well this makes traversing the bike at lower speeds a much easier affair now you do have to put quite a bit of work into actually getting the bike to get up to speed but once you're up to speed maintaining that speed is a breeze another thing i liked about the bike well the rear air suspension I've always thought should be on the Cy Russia bikes anyway. Um, so I'm really glad to see that it's been incorporated here. The frame itself, man, what a difference. This thing is built like a tank. The rear suspension arm for one is heavily reinforced. And to be honest, it looks like it would handle quite a lot of abuse, much more so than the previous Cy Russia models. Now the frame is made from 6061 aluminium but what I will say about this is the bike does feel heavier than previous Cy Russia models so I'm not entirely sure if the quoted 30 kilograms or 34 kilograms with the included battery is actually correct. Um, unfortunately I don't have a set of scales that I can wheel the bike onto locally but uh, I am going to source that out at some point and uh, give you my results when I get those in. But yeah, the bike definitely does feel a little bit heavier than previous Cy Russia models. The bike's battery is a 52 volt, 20 amp hour lithium battery powered with LG cells. So good quality cells in there, not anything cheap and nasty that may catch fire. As I said before, that rear air suspension is absolutely beautiful and makes the ride so much more comfortable. That being said, if you are in the market to purchase this bike and considering it, then you will need a high pressure pump for that air shock. The bike comes with the 750 watt Bafang motor, but if you live in Europe, then please note, this will be limited to 250 watts to conform with the laws. Now, you are able to de-restrict this bike, but again, that's a subject for a different video. Now, I've ridden this bike on various kinds of terrain. So on the road, on the sand, off-road, and even downhill mountain biking. And what I can say is, it excels at every single thing I throw at it. And for me, well, the XF900 used to be my favorite Cy Russia e-bike. Now the jury is out slightly, but I do feel like the Ranger is going to be my new favorite bike. Now, all the old Cy Russia XF800, XF900, XF650, XF690, etc. They're all going to be phased out. And the new Ranger, well, the XF900 used to be the Cy Russia flagship bike, but now that role is being taken over by the Ranger, and I can clearly understand why. As I said before, this bike is a game changer. Well, that about wraps it up from me, I think, for this review. If you've got any questions, then pop them in the box below in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. So that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching and until the next video, bye bye.